Hey guys, it's Drew with Gucci Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. We're at the TNA show and uh, we set up our table. Let's talk about it in this video and uh, yeah, let's get it started. Alright guys, so we uh, wanted to set up at the TNA show just because there's a lot of dealers that show up, there's a lot of people that uh, are excited about the hobby. So we normally don't set up at smaller shows, but for bigger shows to move a lot of coins, we end up working uh, and selling a lot of them. So we ended up doing pretty well at the show. I think we did about $20,000 in sales, something like that. Casey, what do you think? Um, uh, pretty good. And so for Casey can pan down a little bit. We have a few things that we bought today. I mean, we got a lot of stuff. You know, like a, that's not a thing you really see right now, but a toned Iowa commemorative hat. Uh, let me show you something else here. You got this Pilgrim here, uh, 1920. It's got rim toning on both sides. Pretty cool. Uh, another cool piece here is this uh, gold dollar, 1853. It's got rainbow rim around the uh, obverse, as you can see. It's a little. It's. I'll have some nicer photos on our website. And when you flip it over, it's got kind of a redness in the center. I just don't see too much toning on gold, and so I thought I'd take a risk and, and show it off. Uh, what else we got? Nice, uh, kind of nice some mercury dimes here. I bought these two as a pair just because it's a little bit more on the retail side for these, but I mean, just it's got everything. Got full bands, it's got 67, it's got the CAC sticker, a little bit of older holders too, really nice. Um, what else do we have? Taking a look at this coin here. Bought a nice Missouri today, possibly for a collector. A uh, nice OGH holder, uh, really nice original look to it. A lot of them have just sometimes a really cleany so I I thought this was a nice choice pick for this uh, for this show but uh, yeah a lot of nice coins that we bought at this show so far and uh, let's show you guys a little bit of what we have over at this, this display so we use that to sell everything and then we kind of want to display some cool coins that we found and some that we have in our collection so in case you wants to pan down we, we have this all in a little display here but to first show you guys off, it's a little bit hard to show you, but bought this for the collection today. It's the 1879S uh, Morgan Dollar. Really nice blue toning on the coin. Um, just some nice rainbows. Hard, hard to pick up, like I said, but um, you flip it over. It's got some color on the reverse, too. Don't see that too often, especially in the Rattler holders. Uh, the coin I also want to show you guys is, is this one. Not as crazy. It's got some nice purples on both sides. Um, Really happy with this one. Uh, we had actually Ben the Coin Geek sign this one right at the bottom, as you can see. Uh, he was actually set up at this show, so uh, pretty happy with uh, this coin. Bought it for a pretty good price. Something that we don't normally buy and something that kind of caught my eye. $17.97 uh, cent. It's with stems, but it also struck off center. I don't see too many of these uh, in low grade, and so I thought this one would be a good buy. and. Uh, just something interesting for the shop, you know, something for uh, maybe a, an error collector out there. And last but not least, we have this nice SOQ 1917, it's created of MS62 by PCGS and the old Rattler. Uh, it's got a full head, which isn't denoted on there, so that really adds some value to it. We paid a little bit more for it for the collection, but everything really just is nice about this coin. It won't cack, but awesome additions here. and. I'm going to move these back and have Casey pan over the, the case real quick. But a lot of things you've seen in some other videos. The nice Ike Rattler here. Uh, this one uh, is the only cacked uh, Ike Rattler I've seen. Got a few toned buffaloes here. Wanted to have a nice little variety. Got the, uh, the, tone, uh, you've got the, uh, the Rattler 2.5 Gold 108. Another toned buffalo here which is pretty nice. And then a few of my favorites. You got the End of Roll and we have the California. And then we have the Stone Mountain. But uh, yeah, all very impressive coins. Sometimes when you feel when you're at a coin show and you uh, you know you want to sell some coins, you want to work on uh, you know building relationships, but you also want to be at a coin show, show some coins that you love. And so about every single person that came by, we really pulled these out, showed them, and uh, really have been getting uh, a lot of good responses. But yeah. Uh, Let's show you guys some interviews from talking to some people, and then we'll wrap it up and talk about the synopsis of the show. Uh, it was a really good turnout.
Hey everyone, we are here at the TNA show in Arlington, Texas with Richie Self. Richie, can you introduce yourself and, Good morning. Uh, and your company? Yes, Richie Self, American Coins and Collectibles, Shreveport, Louisiana. So Richie, uh, just starting off from the top, where can people find you? Uh, how can they reach out to you? How can they buy some of your wonderful coins? Well, well our store is located in Shreveport, Louisiana. We can be reached by phone at one 800 865-3562 or at uh, emmercoins.com So go and definitely check them out. They have some very good prices um, and Richie and his business partner Derek are fantastic guys. Uh, Richie, how has the show been for you so far? Uh, the show's been very decent. We haven't been overwhelmed but there's been very steady foot traffic. Friday, a lot of people have to work. Uh, it's difficult for them to get away uh, so uh, here on Saturday, we're looking for a, a good public turnout. So, Richie, what are your expectations for Saturday? Uh, well, we're buckled in and we're we're ready. Uh, or I should say we're getting ready. Uh, usually the Saturday show here at the TNA in Arlington is uh, pretty overwhelming. Okay. Now, I know that you specialize in many things. Um, bullion and different types of bullion is pretty difficult to find at some dealers' tables. I know that you guys are pretty uh, heavily prepared. Uh, can you uh, talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I can. You know, we've done this for the last 33 years, so we're grandfathered in with a lot of the manufacturers and the refineries. So we have a pretty steady stream of product coming in. It hasn't been a great difficulty for us to uh, uh, maintain inventory of bullion. Sounds good. Now, let's move on to a different topic. So, have you been to the Tyler Show, and if so, how has the Tyler Show treated you? Just your overall uh, thoughts on it, security, etc. I have been to the Tyler Show. Uh, it's, it's one of the shows we really enjoy. Tyler is really strategically located. It's situated uh, pretty much between Shreveport and Dallas. So uh, you have a really great draw there from two states and the rural areas and the, and the big cities also. It's in a great facility. The guys that put it on do a fantastic job. They make everyone feel welcome. Really nice facility, uh, very good security, uh, good public turnout, and a diversified mix of dealers. It's one of the shows we look forward to. It's also one of the low, very low overhead shows for us. So we, we really like that aspect. Now, Richie, could you show us a fantastic coin that you guys have uh, offered to the public at the show right now? I can. Let me uh, grab a key here, and uh, I'm going to take a little peek and see what we have. I'll just grab this right here. Here's a 1878 Carson City Silver Dollar. And Carson City dollars are red hot right now. They've always been very popular. There, there's, they have a very interesting history dealing with the uh, Comstock Silver Load, uh, very popular with collectors. And uh, uh, actually, uh, kind of difficult to hang on to right now. Sounds great. Is that the only CC that you have to offer, or do you have many other CCs? No, we do. We actually, uh, as right now, we have all Carson City silver dollars in stock in various grades. Okay, fantastic. Richie, uh, great interview. Thank you so much for your time. I wish you the best with the show, and I'll see you at the Tyler Show. Uh, thank you all very much. We appreciate the interview. everyone we are at the TNA show with Chris the ONA president can you introduce yourself yes my name is Chris Harrell I'm the ONA president uh, it is Saturday morning we're getting ready to get kicked off here in about oh probably about 10 or 15 minutes can you tell people about yourself uh, what you specialize in uh, where they can find you if they're interested in buying anything from you absolutely basically um, majority of what I do is I, uh, I do supplies we also do, um, obviously, uh, more silver bullion than anything else, and um, and type coins. That's basically uh, what we sell. Uh, best way to reach me is with my um, email address, chris at arkansascoinandbullion.com. Or on a weekend, you can catch me at a um, at a coin show. I usually list them on, go to CoinZip, you can, um, 
I, I list most of the shows I go to. So, can you tell the audience about uh, the ONA show and uh, just the venue and some some of the perks that uh, the customers could expect? Absolutely. Um, the ONA show is um, we have two ONA shows. Those are our state shows. One is in the um, Oklahoma City area. The one that is coming up in September is in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Actually, um, it's in a suburb of Tulsa called Broken Era. Um, the hotel is uh, Stony Creek Hotel uh, Convention Center. Uh, easy to find, um, heavy traffic up and down the road. Uh, it's right across the, the street. If you get lost, um, you can find Bass Pro Shop. It's across the street from Bass Pro Shop. Uh, great facility for a show. Um, excellent security is there. Uh, we have basically two to three security people, some in uniform, some in plain clothes. So security is not an issue. And what you can find there is you will have somewhere between 80 to 100 um, tables. Uh, low admission to get in, $3 to get in. Uh, but once again, when you got $3 to get in and 80 different offers on your coins or all options to buy. We think when we bring that many dealers together, $3 is a bargain. Absolutely. It's been a wonderful show. The ballroom that you guys have it in is spectacular. Uh, I look forward to uh, coming and seeing you guys and uh, shopping a show. Perfect. It's, it's my understanding that you guys are going to be at the Tyler Coin Show in August. Uh, can you give us your impressions about the Tyler Coin Show and how it's treated you and uh, Todd, your business partner, in the past? The, the Tyler Show is one of my favorite shows to go to. Um, obviously, I know the guys that put that show on, but they do a super job. Um, from a dealer perspective, they're always looking how to make their show better. At the end of that particular show, they're saying, you know, what can we do to, to make it better than it was? Uh, once again, security is a great issue. That's a concern of all dealers. But um, the community shows up, and there's a lot of activity on the, both the buy and the sell side. If um, someone has not gone to the Tyler Coin Show, I would highly recommend them them going. They do a great job down there. Now, this, this is my last question for you, Chris. If you were wanting to be successful within the coin industry, what, what is the best piece of advice that you would give a, a young numismatist or a person that's wanting to get into the space the old the old cliche buy the book before you do buy the coin uh, educate yourself learn learn about the series you are collecting don't go into a show and buy the first thing you see walk the floor a little bit and the number one thing especially younger people they think quality quantity excuse me is better than quality and so what I would recommend buy the highest grade coin you can they're gonna hold value better and until you know how to grade I'd highly recommend buying slab coins um, at least that takes one element out of out of there but um, the number one thing is educate yourself get to know the dealers um, when young people go to a show, the first thing you need to do is sit down, introduce yourself to the dealer that is there. Say hello. Don't just sit down and start looking at things. Always introduce yourself to the dealer um, and always ask. Never pick anything up. Those, you do those things, you, I, I think success is on your way. And I think also it's critical to get involved in the your local association. Uh, if there's a coin club in your area, join it. There's vast people there that are willing to help younger people as well. And the ANA is also a great choice as well. I know this is a leading question, but I've heard from a lot of dealers that you're a very hardworking man. Would you say that that's a key to being successful within the coin industry? The coin industry is like anything else. The harder you work, the more you learn, the more successful you're going to be. Um, can anybody get lucky? Absolutely. But um, I truly believe um, you got to you got to put in the work to get the results. Bottom line. Thank you, Chris, for your time. I appreciate it. Um, I look forward to your own, your Oklahoma show in Broken Arrow. And yes. uh, yeah, that. Though, let me give everybody right, those dates, and I'll give them a location if they um, are out there. Uh, once again, it's at Stony Creek Hotel. That is at 200 West Albany Street in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. The show dates are September 9th, 10th, and 11th. Um, 
Friday is a half day from 12 until 6. Saturday and Sunday we go 9. Saturday is 9 to 6, and then we wrap it up a little early on Sunday. It's over by 4 o'clock. Like always, I would always advise people, don't wait to Sunday to come to a show. A lot of dealers leave. If you can get there Saturday, come on out Saturday. Sounds great. Thank you, Chris, for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. We hope you guys have enjoyed the video so far. If you guys are enjoying the video, please leave a like. Comment your thoughts about just, you know, the interviews that we had and also about the coins we showed off. And I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about the show, but before that, uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that all of our new coins that we got at the show will be on our website, AcousticCollectibles.com. We also have um, a show that we're going to be sponsoring in a way. Uh, we're going to be showing off you know, a little bit about their show, giving you guys some details. And uh, we really want you to show up to that show. It's going to be the Tyler Show in August. It's a really great show. found a lot of good things. We're going to have a great video talking about it soon. But yeah, uh, if you guys want to sell any coins to us, uh, my no phone number is 832-538-4122. We're buying a lot of stuff right now, and that's my direct cell number. Just send me some photos and prices, and I'd be happy to work with you. But to talk a little bit about the TNA show, we prepped, and we left early on Thursday morning. Uh, we got there about two or three hours before they even opened the bay door to let us in. It's just what we do. It's just how we get to uh, ask people what they have, and a lot of the dealers were just out there talking to us, giving, them, uh, giving us some life advice. Um, but <clears throat> the first two days were pretty solid, Thursday and Friday. I was mainly dealer to dealer or, uh, you know, those very intense collectors like we were talking about. People that really don't have to worry about the markets or uh, worry about their discretionary income. They really are just uh, there to spend money and find things they like. And so it was. there's a lot of rich people it felt like were in the room. And there was a lot of uh, dealer to dealer, like I said. And we really thought that the, you know there's going to be a lot of things happening on Saturday, and so when we were you know going out to the show, uh, we thought like oh the general public's going to just completely run into this place and buy up a bunch of stuff, and uh, the general public never really actually showed up, and uh, you know I don't know if that has to do with what we talked about in the previous video, and if you guys want to watch that, uh, you know go check out our channel, but. They're, like I said, most of the people that have discretionary income, they, have, they work a 9 to 5 from Monday through Friday, and then on Saturday they show up to the coin show. Um, a lot of the people that you know have businesses and do other stuff, they show up on Friday, and they buy certain things they like, get there a little bit early. And so Saturday there wasn't very many people, which is kind of a downer, but that's the, what I kind of expected in the current market. And also there was just a lot going on around the coin show. They had a concert. They had a baseball game. They also had, we were in an esports arena and there was a lot of esports stuff going on. There wasn't many places to park as well. So it was kind of a strange weekend to have TNA and that's just the way it goes. But overall, the show was pretty awesome. Got an interview with David Lasseau um, over at Coin Television. We also got to see Ben the Coin Geek there. We had him sign a slab for us for our personal collection. We also got to talk with a lot of cool people and uh, it was really an honor to. Be with a lot of the greats there that just constantly pour themselves into the hobby but uh, if you guys did enjoy today's video please leave a like comment your thoughts about you know what 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 do you feel about the current market are you guys relating it with that a little bit if you guys are at the coin shows do you see what i'm seeing and uh subscribe because we uh you know coming out with videos every single week want to give you guys just a little bit of how we're doing and our thoughts about uh, the coin business and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video.